What is up guys, welcome to the video. Tonight I wanted to give you just a brief overview of the main differences between um, aero helmets and regular road helmets. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why on October the 17th are you going to get into the differences between a road helmet and an aero helmet, most of us on the East Coast are getting ready to attach a trainer to the rear wheel of our bike and probably not ride outside for the next, oh, I don't know, six-ish months. And yes, you may be correct. Um, one, there may be some people who are not from the East Coast who happen to stumble upon this video so we are going to share it with them and the other reason is I actually purchased my aero helmet at a very very steep discount and it was purchased in the off season um, I think it was, may have been a Black Friday special I don't remember for sure um, but I purchased it in the off season and I got a really, really great deal on the helmet. So if you're interested in buying a helmet, now's the time to start looking because now's the time when people are gonna have things on sale. In the heat of the season, they don't really put these items on sale. So that's why we're getting into it tonight. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So right here, as you can see, this is my Rudy Project Road Helmet. Uh, this is the Wind Max, um, and I have it in this white color with like the carbon, oh carbon, things that are that are up here. Um, so just right off the bat, as you can see, um, there's a lot of ventilation in this helmet. There's a lot of holes here. Um, there's a lot of space for the air to get into, which is really nice on a hot summer day, riding outside. Um, you know, things are going to heat up pretty quickly. So there's a lot of space for the heat to get out. And then there's also space for some air to get in while you are riding. Um, it does have the adjustable little spot here in the back. And then this actually goes up and down this way. And then it clicks into place um, depending upon your size. This comes in... Um, a small medium and then I think they have a large and then possibly an extra large um, so light colors for when it's hot out like I said all this ventilation in there um, as far as for triathlon racing goes this is going to keep you safe it's a helmet um, you know it should you should have a helmet that fits properly um, you know beginner triathlete road helmet serves the same purpose um, you can race in it and then do all of your training rides in it um, you know helmets are expensive don't hit the cheap button when it comes to a helmet get a good helmet um, but this way you're you know you have one helmet and, and it serves both both purposes um, I prefer to stick with the light colors I'll talk more about that when I get into the um, the aero helmet but this has, you know, a lot of space to get caught up. This is not aerodynamic or as aerodynamic as a TT helmet or an aero helmet. Um, it does have a little spot here for a visor to clip in. The visor would just come out this way. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. It has chin strap on there. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the road helmet. Um, I... I like Rudy Project. Um, they are one of the more affordable helmets, in my opinion. Um, you know, you can go as far as the POC or some of these wildly, wildly expensive helmets. Um, and I think it just comes down to personal preference and feel at that point. Um, they're all going to protect your head. I'm sure some of them are going to claim that they're going to protect better than others, but. I don't, I don't know that there's any proof behind that, but this is just what a standard um, road helmet looks like. So now we'll move on to the aero helmet. And again, this is 
also a Rudy project. Um, I don't really know how to use the blur tool, so please excuse my, my race sticker on there. Um, many thanks to HTFU for that sticker. I did purchase the sticker. Um, so as you can see, a significantly different look in this helmet as opposed to this helmet. Um, so just looking at the top, no, next to no holes up there. There's two, two holes right back here, um, and then there's two vents on the side over here, and that's it. Um, so this helmet is not going to have nearly as much airflow as this helmet. Um, hence why I went with the white, because it's bad enough that this helmet doesn't have that ventilation, but then on top of that, I really can't imagine doing um, any sort of racing, any sort of, you know, whether it be very hard, short efforts or long, more moderate efforts with a helmet on that's a dark color with the sun just beating down on you. Um, so that's why I went with this color. Now the other thing you'll notice, as I said, the vents, um, this is much, much more aerodynamic. So the air is just going to scoop over this helmet, especially if it's a windy day. If you're dropped down in the aero position, you have this helmet on, um, you're not gonna have nearly as much wind resistance with this helmet as opposed to this. Um, I don't know what the hard facts are as far as how much time you are going to save with an aero helmet. What I can tell you is um, if you are making an investment in something for your cycling, if you are looking to stay on the less expensive side, this is going to be the best bang for your buck. Um, if you can get an aero helmet and maybe even clip on aero bars, that's gonna be big for you. Um, on the inside, you do still have this same adjustable um, strap in the back, same chin strap here, and the Wing 57 actually comes with the integrated um, visor that you can simply clip in here, and I won't clip it in all the way because mine's, mine's a little wonky and it takes a little bit of extra effort, but you kind of get the idea. This clips into place and um, it saves you from having to put your sunglasses on when you are in T1. Um, your helmet already has the sunglasses built in. Um, they have actually since come out with a new one that is magnetic and it flips up, which is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit my helmet. It would fall out, um, but you can just flip up, flip down like those old school sunglasses. So, I mean, the, the main differences here between these two helmets are, are pretty obvious as far as, um, you know, the look and the feel. I will say that with this helmet, it does cover your ears. And for me, it was a little bit hard to get used to the first time um, because you cannot hear things as well with this helmet, this one, as you can with the road helmet. Um, so that was definitely a little weird to get used to. And the other thing is the way that it's, it's shaped, um, there are some pads on the inside here, but you do have to get used to having that, that plastic covering your ears. Um, it's, it's definitely something that you, you should get used to. That being said, I would, Definitely suggest riding, if you purchase an aero helmet, ride with it at least once or twice before you go ahead and race in it so you know what it's gonna feel like, how it's gonna sit on your head, um, what things are gonna sound like, if you can hear people, if you can't hear people, um, etc. But I would not ride with your aero helmet out. My sincerest apologies because that got cut off. Um, so I was just saying that I would not have, I wouldn't do all of your rides outside in your aero helmet. Um, it, it's the, the aero helmet is designed for racing, and the road helmet is more designed for for riding on the road. That being said, there's some people who say, "Well, I spend, you know, crazy amounts of money on this helmet. I didn't buy it to only wear it four times a year." I completely respect that as well. So if you would like to to wear your aero helmet outside all the time, I say go for it. Um, 
it's totally up to you and it's a personal preference. So let me know in the comments below what kind of helmet you like. Um, I personally, like I said, I like the Rudy Project. Um, keep an eye out for a Black Friday sale or some sales around the holidays. Um, they, I think they make a great helmet. Um, I've purchased both of these helmets. It's not a paid video or an advertisement. I'm not, you know, I don't work with Rudy Project. Um, and yeah, I would love to hear your favorite aero helmet. Are you more of a Rudy Project um, kind of affordable helmet kind of person? Or do you go for the gusto, so to speak, and you go with something like a POC or a cask, um, really top of the line helmet? So thank you guys very much for watching. Please let me know your helmet thoughts in the comments.